We're calling back into a live show. We're right. reconnecting you now. Let's go, baby. Uh, you think it ain't when it is. Uh, you think it won't when it wins. We are here. We are in motion. We do this thing. Taking off fast lane. No code then. And everything is going to be all right. We do this thing on a Monday night. Power Monday. And we make sure that we get it popping and hot. The day after each Sunday. And today... Or should I say tonight on the Daily Go Get a Visit show, we are talking about welcome unwanted attention. Welcome one unwanted attention. When you get attention by not even asking for it, and it can come in the form of, of compliments. It can come in the form of hate. It can come in the form of jealousy. It can come in the form of envy. It can come in the form of a lot of, of embarrassing things or things that you would rather keep out of it repertoire but so far they are giving you the kind of attention that you deserve but you ain't really trying to get that but you will serve the purposes of your own and just like a dog you're going to get a phone everything is going to be okay you ain't trying to get noticed this way but it's here hey man all you got to do is dress nice look nice you might be genetically blessed genetically blessed that's when you got them good genes you got the good genes the good skin the good hair good nails got the good thing good eyes good good never fails everybody thinks you are the best they think that uh you are the one better than the rest and there's nothing that you can really do about it you're well kept and well turned out no doubt but um sometimes when you are genetically blessed or when you do the things to improve yourself and they are working they are working on in the here and now they are working in the immediate sense. they are on time just like a gift coming from the lord and uh, of course sometimes it counts as a discord but uh you gotta work it out with you and your friends and sometimes you can be arguing to no end it's not anything that you had to come through and make happen for you sometimes your man might be mad at you sometimes your girl might be mad at you you know, you might be the perfect balance between face, body, beauty, personality, personality. Listen, there are lots of ways that people get attention that aren't even looking for that type of attention. They may have been looking for like the positive stuff, the good stuff, the stuff that, that would make you say, yo, add a boy, add a girl, go get them. That's right. You turn it on up tonight. You're looking good and you're making sure that you are feeling right. And I'm a proud of you that you came from a, a area, a low concentration to a high sensation and you blowing people out of the water. You are something like a real type son or a daughter and you are surpassing the rest. But sometimes you feel like you're cursed instead of blessed because the haters be coming on out and coming through when you know that they want to hate on you because that's what they do but it's going to be okay if you work it out you go and work it out and you've been working out look at the muscles look at the hair skin the nails yo you got the stuff that really just can't fail and yo you got the right stuff baby but you ain't looking for it in that negative way you're not trying to put yourself out there looking like a sex symbol or anything like that Brother, brother, he ain't trying to be out there trying to trying to screw every chick that's out there. It's not even like that. Sometimes you just are uh, just a, a a nice a nice person with a with with a nice looking person with a nice personality, and you have that magnetic type of per personality. And some people just can't understand it, so they hate on it and make you almost wish that you didn't have what you got. But they say if you got it, what well, um then flaunt it, and you ain't even been flaunting it. You may not have flaunted it, but you were the most wanted, and it's causing you the blues. But one thing is for sure that you are in it to win it. You a winner, and you just can't lose. All right, let's go. Urban therapy with Sun Sun Seven Five Two. With this your daily, daily, the daily, the daily, the daily, the daily, the daily, the daily. Go get a mism show. We do this every single day, every single day, every day, every day. Every day it rains, and the DG will do the same. We break it down, baby. Every day it rains, and the DG will do the same. Every day it rains, and the DG will do the same. Every day it rains, and the DG will do the same. 
Every day it rains and the DG will do the same. I'm your host, Sun752, a.k.a. Omar with the... And if you can't say Omar with the... Well, then you just say Omar with the R. This is the Daily Go Get a Business Show all up in your area. I'm feeling like a real man should, and I hope y'all feeling like real men and women should also. What's going on, T. Carry? Right morning, noon, and night. It's always great to have my peoples going directly into your site. And Robbie Ming, my big sis, doing the thing. It's something like Queen for a King, and she likes to swing. And I don't mean swing in a bad way. She ain't about that threesome or foursome. Nah, uh -uh, no way. But I'm talking about got it going on. That's why I like us so much, no doubt. And uh, Stacy White, what's going on? Hold it down for the D. I'm glad you came. T H. R O U H, no R U A G H, but you know what I'm talking about. I ain't gonna hate. And Carol Chamberlain, my friend, me favorita. So great to see you. All right. So listen, on the internet, we see people who are screaming, starving for attention every single day. They they got their ass out. They got their titties out. They got they they got everything. They got they show on parts that that the the Lord probably ain't seen yet. You know, when you really think about it, some people are showing things on their body outright that they haven't even seen on their body themselves outside of pictures. I mean, when you really think about that, you got to think like that's that's really something. Like you showing a body part of yours that you haven't even seen with your own eyes, like with your eyes. You may have seen it in pictures. I mean, what do you really think about it? You, know, you probably never really thought about it like this, but you've never seen your back with your own eyes. You've seen it in pictures. You've seen it in the mirror, but you've never actually seen your back. But your back is nothing compared to your butthole because you've never actually seen that either with your own eyes. But you may have seen it in the mirror. You may have seen it in pictures. So to be putting those ty those types of body parts on the internet, Or just out there in public, asking for attention all day, all day, all day, and it's like they're whores with it. They can't even, they can't cut it, cut it, cut it off, slow it down, shut it, you know, shut it down. They, they just can't do it for some reason. Something inside of them has said, "Listen, I need you to look at me. I need you to love me. I need you to praise me, and I need it every single day, every single day, every day." Every day I need praise. Every day I need praise. And if you don't do it, then I'm going to say, hey, didn't you notice me? So we have people out there who are screaming for attention. But what about the people who are not doing it that way? What about the people who really try to try to dip into the shadows or not so, or are not self-absorbed with themselves? Or, or actually... You know, they may be very beautiful, very handsome, very, you know, nice body and all that kind of stuff, magnetic personality, but they don't even see that in themselves. They may have, they may be battling with some self-esteem issues. So they are busy trying to hide from the limelight, get out of the spotlight, but people blowing them up, people pushing them out there on stage, people are putting them on blast, people are accusing them of being something, acting like something, or accusing them of wanting to bring unwanted attention to themselves or or wanted attention to themselves when it's really unwanted attention so what do you do what do you do what do you do what do you do when you are really just in the business of trying to improve yourself but somebody is accusing you of of being out there fishing my brother ansel jones is in the house What's going on, my brother Ansel Jones? What's going on, my brother? Good to see me some you. Oh, yes, it. Uh, yes, 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 it is. Now, welcomed unwanted attention. And I say that is welcomed because it's like, yeah, I want people to see that I'm trying to do things better. I'm trying to improve a situation or I'm trying to improve a personal situation or you know, whatever the case may be. Let's say like, okay, let's say you were overweight, fat, put it, put it honestly. Let's say you were fat and you did some things to not be fat no more. So, you know, 
you would you um you started working out, eating better, taking better care of yourself. You started taking be- better care of yourself, and um, and it was working. You know, let's say it was working. It was like you start building up your muscle, s- slimming down, getting more energy, doing better for yourself. I mean, genuinely better for yourself. Now, somebody that you got with, or somebody that you are with, they um are accusing you of uh trying to trying to uh get somebody new cheat on them or you know be noticed by somebody else because you're trying to improve yourself improve your health and you know stay on this earth and be healthy and enjoy life a little bit longer than it was looking like you were doing in the beginning but they can't understand that now you know that you've lost weight of course you're going to get more attention because People are noticing that you're you're coming from a place, a lower place to a higher place, a worse place to a better place. Why wouldn't they notice it? Shoot, you didn't you didn't lose weight, so nobody would um, notice that you weren't the same as you were before. You're making improvements, and that could be an inspiration to other people who may be struggling to try to do the same thing. And so you are setting a, a good example, but they they can't. You know, your, your your love, the one that you're with, the one that you love may not understand it because now it's sparking their jealousy. So, yeah, you wanted people to, to be inspired by you and, and, and see that if you made the change, if you disciplined yourself, then they can do it, too. That's all, that's all that you were trying to do. But somebody is or some people are taking it the wrong way. So it was welcomed unwanted attention. Like I didn't want, I didn't want the negative attention. I really wanted the positive attention. I wanted the, yeah, that's right. Keep going. Don't stop. You know, um, that I'm I'm so proud of you. That's what you were looking for. But instead, you were getting, you may have been getting over-sexualized attention. Like, oh, okay, yeah, I wasn't messing with you when you had all that weight. But yeah, you looking like yeah, the, can I get some fries with that shake? Can I get some fries with that shake? You getting those types of you, you getting those types of remarks. You're getting that type of attention. You're getting people in your inbox asking for your number, people calling, calling your uh your uh Facebook number and all that kind of stuff. You know, you know, being disrespectful. Yeah, I know since you know, maybe, maybe, maybe you lost that weight because you got somebody working that weight off of you. You know what I'm saying? You've been getting busy. I like to get, I like to uh, help you lose a couple of more pounds, that type of stuff. Welcomed unwanted attention. Yeah, I welcomed the, the, uh, the, the good attention, but I didn't want this type of attention. I welcomed attention, but not this type. I didn't want to be seen as just some sex object. I didn't want to, I didn't want for my self improvements to go towards people being disrespectful towards me. That's not what I was looking for at all. But whoops, whoops, I did it again on my Britney Spears. Make sure y'all hit that like button, y'all. Make sure that y'all share the show. Make sure that y'all subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, it is the daily, daily, the daily, the daily, daily, the daily, go get a mism show. So, yeah, that's that can be a tough situation. It really can. Trying to do the right thing and it turning out the wrong way. Casting your line out for positivity but reeling in the negative negativity and being blamed for it. So you were trying to, I don't know. You know, sometimes it's just really not your fault. Like I said, sometimes you are genetically blessed with looks. Your mama, your mama was pretty. Your, your daddy was handsome. What, what, you, what you think is going to happen with you? You got the best of both worlds. You come from two whole generations, 
two whole different families of good looking people, good looking folks. And they might have been smart too. So you got you are the total package. Brains, bronze, and and smarts. You might have the whole thing. And of course, you want to be recognized for that. But not not recognized for that in a way that makes it looks like look like you're conceited or arrogant or mean or 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 um one of those types of people who are always acting like they're better than somebody else. That's not what you were doing. That's not what you were looking for. That's not even what type of time you are you're on. That's not what you do. But somebody might be might be accusing you of doing just that. And that's a tough situation to be in. Welcomed unwanted uh, uh, attention. Brothers, you might have been some scrawny, skinny pipsqueak. You know, 125 pounds soaking wet. Too thin to win. Too light to fight. You know the type. You know what I'm talking about. We all had somebody that we grew up with that fit fit that description. Shoot, it might have been us. A lot of us were really thin when we were younger. I know I was. Very, very thin. You know? You start, you start um coming of age. You may have started working out. You know, you get you packing on muscle. You're looking better. You're being more confident. Maybe you even took self-defense classes or something like that. So, you know, you're not only looking tougher, but you really are. You got that stuff in the heart. But now people want to test you. Oh, since you got muscles and all of that. Well, let's see. Let's see what that heart is. Let's see if those muscles are good for anything. That type of stuff. Oh, you think you're a tough guy now? Listen, man, I was just trying to, you know what I mean? I was just trying to get these muscles for the girls. You know, girls like muscles. They like a man that's that when they, they when they let lay next to them, they feel something, they feel something hard. In more ways than one. That's all this this was about. This ain't trying to, I ain't trying to come through and, and do a, a street sweeper on the block. But cats, cats get jealous. On some silly stuff, maybe, maybe a girl that they were interested in was interested in you, and maybe she expressed that. And now he mad. Now he hating. Now he want to try to bully somebody. Is it going to work? I don't know. I don't know. Ansel Jones says, "People that play keyboard, keyboard thug, then then get what they wanted." Oh, uh oh. Stacy White says, "I just be myself." And maybe that's why I got special, got uh, a special person's attention. Okay, that's what's up. She also says God will give you wisdom to show you what what the other person likes. Hmm. Carol Chamberlain, she says that's why it's not always wise to post things to social media. I agree. Robbie Robbie Mink says I am a I am a a low key person. Uh, I don't like to be the center of a center of attention. Okay. You know, it almost looked like it said, "You are." I, I am a bow legged person. I was like, "Yeah, you know, she kind of." <laughs> but speaking of a bow legged person, some people are born bow legged. And you know, like when a when a chick is bow legged, a lot of times she'll have a gap. Remember that back in the day? Oh, she got a gap, and that was supposed to mean that that she was sexually active. Like like a man. <laughs> when you think about how silly that was back in the day, she got a gap. Like she could have sex so much to the degree that you could see the. In her crotch area, you could see how sexually active she was. With her clothes on. 
Oh, look, she got a gap. Oh, she got a gap. Remember that? Remember that back in the day? You don't hear that much more anymore. I don't think, I don't, this generation, I don't think they have gaps. They don't have gap. Shoot, you wouldn't notice that they have a gap anymore because they so busy. <laughs> they so busy showing everything where the gap is. But it ain't even just this generation, man. I would love to write it off as just all the young people of today wilding out, but it's not. People our age are doing it. I've seen people... I've seen people definitely my age, and I mean 51 years old, still on the internet. I'm like, what was you doing? What was you doing before the internet? What are you doing? What are you doing? They don't fit the title of this show because we're talking about welcomed, unwanted attention. So we're talking about getting attention by not looking for attention. You know, do, you know, doing self improvement. I'm not talking about when you, you know, you knew you got you got big titties, so you showed them. On, you know, you went as you showed as much cleavage as possible. You showed everything except for the nipple. That's not welcomed, unwanted attention. Because you wanted that attention. You want exactly. You want exactly what that that smoke. You want that smoke and all the smoke that you can get. You ask for. You ask for it directly. A bow legged, a bow legged woman, or even a bow legged man. He, shoot, it's not like he can walk another way. He was born that way. You gonna break his legs? Remember that back in the day, they used to suggest that if you were too bow legged, that they break your legs and reset them. Would they have to reboot them? Cal Jamo says, and Robin, yes, that's me too. Yeah, some people are just, like I said, genetically blessed. You might just be a, a pretty woman or a handsome man. You ain't out there in every, every woman's face. You ain't out there in every man's face. You can tell when a woman or a man is out there fishing hard. They, they all up in somebody's grill. And those are the ones that will try to, try to front like, nah, you know, it's I'm just a friendly person, you know, or I like to flirt, but that ain't about nothing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That is about something. That is about something. You want that attention. You want that smoke. We're talking about the people who are naturally gifted or, or if, even if they're not naturally gifted, they have stayed the course, put in the work, the time, the hours, the effort to try to make themselves better and it worked, but they were doing it for their own health. They were doing it for, um, for inspiration to others. They, they weren't doing it, you know, to, to try to see how many people they could turn on or how many people they could get or how many people they could go to bed with that. That's not it. That's not it. Welcome unwanted attention. What if you just, what if you just the type of person that, that, um, gets your hair done in a nice style you a woman that you know gets her hair done and looks nice. And I'm talking about you know, it's just a regular pressing and curl. You didn't even go the weave route or nothing like that. You have nice hair and you just went to the went to the salon to get it done. So you're pretty. You look pretty, Spe especially on salon day. All right. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with with personal grooming. Nothing at all. It doesn't mean that that you you're looking for a new man or you're trying to cheat on somebody or that or that you out here thirsty, hungry, and and, and searching. It doesn't mean that. But people blowing up your inbox like crazy. Like, okay, I understand that you might be interested in getting to know me or or you want to you know get physical with me. I I get that, but you're being disrespectful to the point where you might have to block people, unfriend people, or shut down your uh. Your uh, Facebook Messenger. You know, a lot of women have shut down their Facebook Messenger. Like enough of, is enough of this. Like I, uh, that's it. That's it. No more Facebook Messenger. <laughs> you know, 
cats being able to call you without having your phone number. That might not be what you are looking for. And I still haven't found what I'm looking for. And so Jones says, posting about your new job. Now people asking you for money. Wow, and so how about that? And I have seen people post like, you know, like I finally I got a new job. I'm out of that old place. You know, things are better. Yeah. They don't even know if you're making more money. You didn't say that you was, you know, getting bank. You ain't say that. Cal says them keyboards gave them heart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I you know what I used to call it. I, I when I was doing comedy, I had this skit called Phone E Thug. Phone E Thug. <laughs> you talk all that mess over the internet, talk all that mess over the phone. Yeah, you know what I mean? You lucky I was blah 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 blah. blah, blah. But in the skit, it was crazy because the the guy he's talking to on the phone, all crazy and reckless to, is right on the phone close to him. So he hung up the phone and was like, yo, man, you talking all that? So what's up? What's up? And the boy like, um, he go get his phone again like, yeah, I'm see, that's what I'm talking about. And the boy's standing right there like, what are you doing? Um, um, phone e thug, <laughs> phony thug. You ain't real, you ain't real. <laughs> Robbie Robbie Mix says, I was dancing to the rap he was doing. <laughs> That's what's up, Robbie Rob. And so Jones says, ask friends to support your business day one, asking, asking for the uh the hook me ups. Yeah. Carol Chamberlain says, Oh, I've been there and it's disrespectful. Mm-hmm. Stacey White says, some are really thirsty and crazy out there. True, true indeed. True indeed. Carol Chamberlain says, I like that. Oh, I really like that. What y'all talking about? <laughs> Robbie Robbie Bing says, I'm working on myself. There are things about, about me I don't like. And and you're no different than a lot of people. But you know, one thing that seems to be consistent with people who want to improve themselves because they, you know, there's some things about themselves that they would like to see upgraded or whatever. They are often admired by other people who think that they have everything because some people have so little that when they see you have certain things naturally that they would have to manufacture in order to have those things it's like wow that's the type of unwanted attention that you're going to get people thinking that you're doing things in order to have what you have meanwhile you're not doing anything like i said you might be genetically blessed you might just be the type of person that knows how to do something you ever have a skill you ever, have you ever been skilled at something just really really good at something maybe you worked at something at at something years 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 trying to perfect it trying to get it trying to get good at it trying to be competitive at it or whatever and you finally did you got good at it and somebody who wishes that they had the type of talent that you have in that area is is over there hating on you because they can't do what you do they can't be who you are they can't radiate that type of energy that you are radiating. And they wish that they could have people look at, at them and admire them the way that you have people look at you and admire you. And you ain't even trying. You ain't even trying. Not like that. Not like that. <laughs> That's right. That's right, Carol. Phony thug. Phony thug. It's a lot of phone e thugs out there too. Stacy 
Stacy White says they better they better stop that because I know some people that are really real. Mm-mm. They rap. But yeah. So it's it's a tough situation, you know. Unwanted attention. Welcomed unwanted attention. Yeah, I wanted a little bit of praise. I wanted a little bit of respect. I wanted a little bit of love, but I didn't want all of this craziness. I certainly didn't want all the jealousy I or the envy it or the hate. I didn't want all of this suspicion. People thinking that I'm out here trying to mess. Ladies, have you ever? Any of y'all ladies listening, have you ever been accused of wanting another woman's man and you ain't want that nigga? I've seen chicks go through it. Yeah, she all up in my man's face. She blah, blah, blah with my man, my man, my man, 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 man. She all accusing you of wanting her man. You might have been friends with the boy since forever. Y'all might be like brother and sister. Y'all might be close or whatever, just cool. Or you might not want him at all. You might be in a position where you have to help the guy. She talking about somebody want her man because you gave him the correct address of where to go in order to get some type of resources that he was looking for. Your girl so jealous. Your aunt Sel, your girl so jealous that she she accused you of, of, of messing around with the mother of the church. The mother of the church. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, like the mother of the church is like, listen, Aunt Sel, listen, I'm, I'm so glad to see you um, this Sunday. It was really good. How about that sermon? That sermon was really something. And I'm, I'm really glad. Listen. Ever since you were away um, in, in the military, I was so glad to, to see you come back home in one piece and in good spirits and everything. And then, you know, I, I was praying for you and I still pray for you. your girl. Come, uh, 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 uh. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, bitch. What's you doing? You all flustered and embarrassed. Like, yo, no, my girl didn't. Your girl ain't stop. Uh uh. First of all, I don't need nobody praying for my man. You ain't got to pray. What you praying for him? Pray for your own man. This old bitch pray. Uh uh. And so, and so, she praying for you now. That's what you doing. You got bitches praying for you. Yeah. Well, I'll pray for you. And if, if this bullshit come keep going on, then somebody else going to have to, your family might have to pray for you. Cause uh uh. Um, I want everybody to know that my man is already prayed for. We he prayed up. He don't need no more. He got a prayer overload. His old cougar bitch trying to, you know what I mean? It's, it's, I seen the way she look at you. It looks like y'all gonna have you either gonna have to get a new girl or y'all gonna have to go to a new church. But yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. Yeah, she just want my man. She be all up in his face. She was damn near holding his balls up. He got on drawers, bitch. You ain't got to hold my man balls up. I I got him. I got, I'm hold. I got it, bitch. Babe, I got this. Okay. TK right says, oh my God, yes. Robbie Robbie Mink says, Omar, put your glasses on. <laughs> TK right says, no, I mean, not Mother Bryant. <laughs> and so says, funny, not funny. This has happened to some people that came back from overseas at the airport. I'm telling, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, uh-uh, I can't believe it. This nigga, this, I go to church with this nigga. You know, he don't even go to church like that. That's the thing that kills me. All of a sudden he want to go to church. 
I'm thinking like, okay, if he want to go to church, maybe, maybe while he was overseas, maybe he he killed too many of them damn Arabs or whatever. You know, he worried about his salvation or something like that. So he want to go to church and pray it off. I can understand that shit. You know, it's the it's the curse of the soldier and all of that shit. He was serving his country. He was serving his country and all of that. You know, so we go. I go to church with my man. You know, we we going. You know, we looking for our salvation. But I ain't gonna lie. In the back of my mind, I'm like, well. You know, which one of these little church bitches that he is, is he got do he have his eye on? It's the goddamn mother of the church. It's some old cougar ass. They should have seen how the mother of the church was was dressed. Like, how was she dressed? Short? Well, first of all, I think that the mother of, uh, of the church, I think the mother of the church should have a, a hat on. She ain't have on no church hat. When, when, since when do the mother of the church don't, don't have on no church hat? I knew right then and there that she was trying to see my man. I knew it right then and there. But I bet you that she won't be praying for my man no more. Not with the good mind. She going to have to pray for herself and pray for my man. She going to have to pray for my man in silence. Silent prayer. Just like Shanice. No. The other chick, you know, the singer back at Spencer, Ten Tracy seconds. Spencer, silent prayer, silent prayer. Don't pray for my man in front of me. I pray for him. I'm covering that nigga. I'm covering the nigga. I'm covering my man. I'm covering. <laughs> surely sure the world's most precious and greatest pearl in the world surely sure the world's most precious and greatest pearl in the world yeah welcomed unwanted attention welcomed unwanted attention you was just trying to look better feel better do better and you got accused of out being out there trying to act like little old ho. It's no fair. No justo. No justo. It's no fair. It's no fair. So yeah, man. Um, welcomed unwanted attention. You want to do better for yourself, but you don't want the negative attention that it brings. You want to make more money, look better, feel better, be healthier, stay out of the hospital, get off medications. And they trying to make it make it seem like you out there trying to be a little. You out there trying to be a little, 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 little. My man Job Biggs, what's going on, kid? I'm glad you came on through. I'm always glad you did. We about to be on up out of here though in a minute, but I'm glad y'all came through and got in it. Yo, right in the chat, step up the bat. I'm down with y'all. Y'all down with me. That's where it's at. Uh, and we down like a submarine. I struggle to keep my sneaks clean. Yeah, yeah, we still gleam and uh, shine just like teeth with the cold gate light bright. Yeah, we get it right, yo. Tonight is the night, first day of the year, first day of the week. But I speak about the topic, subject, we can get a little busy with. Yo, I see a stizzy it makes me feel like a real man should. And I hope y'all feel the same way. Good. I'm glad you do. Glad you came on through. I'm glad you're coming back tomorrow. Yo, no bag ball, suck. All right. All right. All right. Carol Chamberlain says, put some respect on that. <laughs> On that miss ho to you. That's right. My bad. Miss ho to you. That's right. You know what I mean? Can't even pray for it. But yeah, all of y'all women out there that ever been accused of, of wanting another man's, I mean, another woman's man or whatever. And you know how, you know what a pain that is to, to have to try to explain that. You know how it makes you feel inside because 
when you have to when you have to explain to somebody okay when you have to explain to somebody's significant other that you're not messing around with their man or their woman first of all you have to take into consideration the respect level that you have for the person that you're claiming that you're not messing around with or that you don't want because there's a there's going to be a part of you that wants to say i don't want that old bum ass cornball he dirty that might be the way you feel but because y'all friends because you have respect it's like no it's not like that we just friends but listen you know woman to woman man to man if it makes you uncomfortable about our interaction then i know on my on my end then you know i can i can dumb all of that down but you know we we we've been we've been cool for years and uh but if it has to be this way then hey so be it because i don't want to get in in the in the middle of what y'all y'all have going on but i just want to ensure you that it's never been like that between me and her me and him that's not like that. so on inside you like I don't even know you like you or want to have nothing to do with you. And here I am explaining to you. You. Ugh. We about to do these birthday shout outs and get on the body. We We have some birthday shout outs to do. Some people were born on this glorious, glorious, glorious. April 18th, and they deserve to be acknowledged. So let's go about our business of acknowledging them and making them feel special because they are special because they are special because they are S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They are S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They are S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They get number one out the box, Anisha Ebony Robinson. Happy birthday to you and also Kimberly C. Henry. Happy birthday to you and Wendy McIntyre. No relation, but what up, cuz? Turning 47 years old today and also Chantel K. Nelson. Happy birthday to you and Marantha. Wait a minute. Maranatha Pierre. Maranatha Pierre turning 28 years old today. Happy birthday to you and, and Precious Sazy. Happy birthday to you and Siobhan Shivani. Turning 41 years old today in Abril Asbornes. Abril Asbornes. That's like April Osborne in Spanish. And also Monet Cash. Happy birthday to you and Jasmine Elizabeth Collins. And last but not least, to Neil Thomas. Turning 30 years old today. I want to say happy birthday to all of you and anyone else out there who shares this birthday on his glorious, glorious, glorious. <laughs> audience april 18th anywhere out there in the world worldwide internationally and universally all of y'all go ahead and turn up turn up but don't turn up too loud just turn up loud enough so everybody can hear you a rock out rock on to do the damn the damn the rock out rock on to do the, 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 the damn rock out rock on to do the damn thing you do your thing y'all represent the queens and kings you do your thing y'all represent the queens and kings good things happen to those who wait Great things happen to those who grind, and any, any, to any, to anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours, and remember, man, listen, yo, welcome, unwanted attention is something I would like to mention that can really get on your nerves and make you feel like you just been disturbed by somebody that you don't even care about, but they've been all on your tip, checking you out and making you feel good in a way. But at the same time, you suspicious like, hey, who are you? How'd you get my number? Who told you? Who sent you? What's going on? I didn't mean to meant to you get to you no not with it and i'm not trying to get all up in you or get in it yo i'ma see you later i got something greater for you and y'all as that's all don't call my number no more don't contact me don't try to act like you know me don't act like you 
and and me are an item. And if anybody comes and asks me about you, I'ma fight them. And I'm about to fight you after this block. So if I hit you again on another account, I block that too. And all profiles of you, and I'm out of here. You know how we do. With that being said, we be back tomorrow night, seven o'clock. So make sure y'all come through. Peace to all my day ones, my everydays, and my brand news. I love y'all to death. Resuscitate y'all. Love y'all right back to life. Make sure that y'all hit that like button. Make sure that y'all share the show. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, Emily Dunlap in the place. Thanks for coming on through. Good to see your face. So, blog talk. I'm going to get you on the body here. Out of here. Yeah. And, 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 and for my, uh, wait, oh, 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 all right, let me get him out of here. Let me, uh, 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 browser acting a little freezy. Uh, Thank you for using Blog Talk Radio. Goodbye. And for my YouTubers, you know just how we do, but thanks for coming on through. See you on the other side, my booba. See you, just see you on the other side, my booba. See you, see you on, on the other side, my boobas. Peace.